everyone this is vinita and welcome to hopeful turns in this video we'll be seeing how to make this crochet pouch bag so here i have used this pattern to make it into a mobile holder but you can definitely adapt this pattern and use it to store your tablet your kindle or just use it as a plain simple pouch bag now you can even uh use the same thing and add cords to it and use it as a sling bag also so it's quite a versatile uh pattern and you can definitely adapt it to your needs so let's see the supplies that you would require so for this here i have used a medium four weight acrylic yarn and with that i have used a size h or a 5 mm crochet hook now you can use this with any weight yarn all you have to do is to use the recommended hook size apart from this you would require a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in the ends now i have used here a button here so you might require a button and to stitch in a button you might need a normal thread and needle so yeah these are the few supplies that you'd require now if you're ready we can start now if you are looking for other crochet uh, pouches bags or baskets i will put a link to the playlist where i have done a few other patterns so if you are interested you can give that a try also so let's see how to make this so we'll start a pattern with a slip knot and when making a slip knot make sure to leave a very long tail end so here i'm going to leave about 8 to 10 inches long tail end and then i'll make my slip knot and we will be using this tail end to stitch our uh, pouch at the very end okay so here i've got my slip knot i have left a very long tail end all right once you have your slip knot we'll make the chain stitch so here i'm going to start with 30 chain stitch so this is 1 2 3 4 five like this i'll make 30 chain stitch now the number of chain stitch totally will depend on the width of the pouch that you're making or you can just take your mobile just make a long chain stitch and the chain stitch should be able to cover the width of your mobile uh and when you're making this chain stitch make sure that it is an even number or a multiple of 2 so i'll make my 30 chain stitch and then we'll see what to do next So here I have made my 30 chain stitch and if you see here it is able to cover the entire width of my mobile. So this will be the width. So just make sure that the chain stitch that you are putting is able to cover the mobile. So once you are ready with your chain stitch what we'll do is we will go ahead and slip stitch into the very first chain stitch. So I'll make my slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Okay? So there are first foundation row is done so this is going to be your width of the pouch now we'll start round 1 so for round 1 we are going to start with a chain stitch so chain 1 and then we will put one single crochet in each of these stitches here so into the very first stitch where we had slip stitch into that same stitch i'm going to make a single crochet so this is one come to your next stitch this one again put a single crochet So I'm going there and making a single crochet. So this is my second single crochet here. Like this in every stitch I'm going to make a single crochet. And when I'm doing my single crochet, you can see that there are three loops. 1 2 3. I will insert my hook into after if you see there is 1 2 to between the first and second. Uh, between the second and third i'm going to insert my hook and then complete my single crochet so there is just going to be one loop uh at the lower side okay so i'm just going to insert my hook here between the second and third loops and then finishing my single crochet so like this i complete one full round of single crochet and when you finish this round you'll have the same number of single crochet as your starting chain stitch So for me I'll have 30 single crochet. So I'll complete my 30 single crochet first and then we'll start with round 2. So this is how this looks. So here I have finished one full round of single crochet and I have a total of 30 single crochet. So this was my very last stitch. Now if you see here 
you might be tempted to put one more single crochet here where your chain one goes do not do that uh, if you have any confusion just make sure to count the number of stitches and confirm whether you have the same number of single crochet as your starting chain stitch so i have 30 single crochet so these two stitches need not you don't have to put another single crochet here where your chain one goes that has already been taken care of i'll just flip this like this now uh, in order to finish this this here is my chain one and this is my first single crochet of this round i'll go there and slip stitch to join okay so this will complete our round one we will start our round two now round two again is going to be a normal single crochet round so we'll just start with chain one go into the very first stitch here itself i'll go there and make a single crochet like this and then put one single crochet in each of these stitches so i'll make one more round of normal single crochet so at this point you can just go under your stitch here taking both the front and back loops and make a normal single crochet so i complete this round also and when i finish this i'll have again 30 single crochet so i'll complete this round and meet you at the end of round two Alright, so this is how this looks. So here I'm at the end of my round 2 and I have 30 single crochet. Now again, I just want to emphasize that uh, you should not be putting a single crochet where your chain 1 goes. That has already been covered. Uh, you may feel that there is a need to put a single crochet here, which is totally not required. So make sure you count your stitches. And in order to finish round 2, I'm just going into the first single crochet of this round not the chain one but the first single crochet of this round and i'll just slip stitch okay so this completes our round two so round one and round two are just normal single crochet rounds or you'll have the same number of single crochet as your starting chain stitch now we'll start round three so we'll start by chaining one so chain one and into the same stitch into the very first stitch make a single crochet okay so here we have got a single crochet into the second stitch we are going to make an elongated single crochet so we are going to do the single crochet itself but what we will do is instead of going into this stitch here we will go around below it okay so instead of going into this stitch as we do a normal single crochet we will insert our hook into the row round below it and then complete our single crochet so insert your hook pull up a loop and when you pull it up you may have to pull it up a little bit higher and then complete your single crochet like this so this will create an elongated single crochet and we are going to alternate uh, this round with a single crochet and an elongated single cr crochet sorry so here we have done this so into the next stitch make a normal single crochet like this and next we will make an elongated single crochet so instead of putting your hook here we will put our hook at this point one row below it and then make a single crochet so just take pull up a loop you'll have two loops yarn over and pull through both we're just doing a single crochet it's just that we are making that single crochet around below it next once an elongated single crochet is done make a normal single crochet follow it by a elongated single crochet so instead of going here i'll go down here and then complete my single crochet like this and this is the process that we'll go we are going to follow through this round we will just alternate between a single crochet and a elongated single crochet okay so this will create this kind of a pattern here so i'll just complete this and meet you at the end of this round so here I'm almost at the end of this round. So this is my very last stitch here. And the very last stitch of round 3 will be an elongated single crochet. So this is my last stitch. I'll go one row down and then complete an elongated single crochet. So if we have so here we have started with a single crochet. We will be ending with an elongated single crochet, just the opposite of it, okay? And this finishes your round 3. And here again, if you count the stitches here, you'll have a total of 30 stitches itself. And we'll finish off this round by making a slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first stitch of this round. You can just slip stitch. This completes our round three. And this is how this looks. 
It is an alternating single crochet elongated single crochet round. We will start a round four. We will start with chain one. And here in this round, we are starting with an elongated single crochet. In the previous round, we had started with a normal single crochet. In this round, we'll start with an elongated one. Or you can uh, remember like uh, what you have finished the previous round. So we have finished the previous round with an elongated single crochet. So you'll be starting the next round with an elongated single crochet itself. So instead of going and putting a single crochet here, I'm going one row below it. So here. Not here, but between this and this, there is a point here. There, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop and then complete my single crochet. Okay, so here we are starting with an elongated single crochet. Into the next stitch, I'll make a normal single crochet like this. Then make an elongated single crochet. And if you see here, instead of putting my hook here, I'm going to go a row below it. So I'm going to insert my hook here and then complete my single crochet like this. So this one will fall between these two stitches, just a row above it. Okay, so you can see there are two elongated stitches. In between that we are putting it just one row above it or one row below the one we are working. So this is done. Now into the next stitch I'm going to put a normal single crochet. Follow it by an elongated single crochet. So instead of putting my hook here, I will put the hook down just one row below it and then complete my elongated single crochet. So this is the pattern that we'll be following. Here exactly we are doing the same thing. It's just that here we have started with an elongated single crochet and when you finish this row, you will be finishing with a normal single crochet. So like this, I'll just complete my pattern. So your elongated single crochet will go between these two stitches just below the row that we are working. So I'll complete this pattern and show you how to finish this off. Okay, so this is how this looks. So here I'm at the end of my round four. So this is my second last stitch which was an elongated uh, single crochet. And the last stitch for this round will be a normal single crochet. So into the very last stitch, make your single crochet, a normal single crochet. Because we have started with an elongated single crochet, you should be ending with a normal single crochet. And now we'll finish this off by slip stitching into the very first stitch. So here is our chain one and this here is our first stitch. I'll go there and slip stitch to join. Okay, so this completes this round. And this is what we are going to repeat throughout our pouch. We are just going to repeat row 3 and row 4. So the next round is going to be the repeat of row 3. So that is we are starting with chain 1. And here we will be starting with a normal single crochet. You can remember uh, by looking at this. So you can see this, is here, this here is an elongated one. So it should be the opposite of it or what you have ended the previous round. So in row four, we had stopped with a single crochet. So row five, we are starting with a single crochet. So just start with a normal single crochet in the first stitch, then make an elongated single crochet. And instead of putting a hook here, I'm going to go one stitch below it. So here I'm going to insert my hook and make an elongated single crochet. So if you see here, this elongated single crochet will sit right on top of this stitch of round three. So elongated single crochet is done. Follow it with a normal single crochet. Then make an elongated single crochet. So instead of going here, I'll go here right on top of this. Just one row below the round that you are working. And then continue and alternate between a single crochet and an elongated single crochet. So like this, you can finish off this round as well. And once you finish this round, you will be ending with a elongated single crochet because we have started with a normal single crochet. So I'll just show you and I'll start the next row also with you. And then you can proceed it and make it as long as you want it. So here I'm at the end of my round five. So this is my second last stitch, which was a single crochet. 
I should be ending with a elongated single crochet for round 5. So instead of going and putting a single crochet here, I'll insert my hook into the round below it and make an elongated single crochet and this will be the very last stitch and in order to finish this I'll slip stitch into the very first stitch of this round so this is the end of round 5 round 5 is same as your round 3 now we'll start the next round start with chain 1 and here for this round I'm going to start with an elongated single crochet all right so you can see there is an elongated single crochet here so I'm just going to start instead of making a single crochet here I'll go a row below it and then make a elongated single crochet like this then make a normal single crochet then make an elongated single crochet so instead of inserting my hook here I'll insert my hook here and then make an elongated single crochet like this and this is how we will be continuing with a single crochet and an elongated single crochet row. So you can repeat round 3 and round 4 till you reach your desired length. So I'll make a few more rounds of round 3 and round 4 and then I'll show you how to finish this off. You just have to continue repeating round 3 and round 4. So this is how the pattern will be forming. So here I have repeated the pattern for a total of 27 rounds and this is how big the pouch has turned out to be. Uh, you can uh, go on repeating the rounds as big as you want your pouch to be. So this was my very last stitch. I'm just going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of this round and I'm going to cut my yarn here. All right. So this finishes the covering part. Now we'll make the closure okay so this is how this looks all right now we'll start with the closure so for the button closure here i'm going to take my yarn again and i'm going to find the center four stitches i'm just going to eyeball and see the center four stitches so i'm going to put my yarn here and i'll first knot it down okay you can attach your hook with a slip stitch and a chain one but i'm just going to knot it down here and then make a single crochet so here in the center four stitches I'm going to make a single crochet so this is one this is my second single crochet two three and four so this will be the width of the closure here so I have made four single crochet I'm going to chain one turn my work and again make four single crochet so this is one two three and one more four like this i'll make maybe one more round of it so here i've made two rounds uh two rows i'll make one last row so this is chain one turn your work again put four single crochet one two three and four so here i have made three rows of single crochet next i'm going to make a button hole so for that i'm going to chain one turn my work into the first stitch i'll make a single crochet after that i'm going to put two chain stitch one and two i have put two chain stitch i will skip these two stitches in the middle and make a single crochet into the last stitch so i have one single crochet worked in the first stitch last stitch and in between i have put two chain stitches so again i'm going to chain one turn my work and make four single crochets again so into the first stitch make a single crochet into the chain two spaces make two single crochet this is one this is two okay and into the very last stitch make one more single crochet okay so this completes the button closure you can see if you want more length you can add more length to it but if you see here it is not very evenly placed so in order to even this out what i'm going to do is i'm going to place one single crochet on the very last row so i'll start the single crochet from here i'll go across here come down and go 
and make a single crochet all around this and then come back and join so i'm just going to place one single crochet in all of these stitches so i'm going to chain one turn my work and then start making one single crochet so that will kind of even it out and will give a nice clean finished look so here i have got my four single crochet now i'll have to work down okay so i'm just going to flip it like this and work one single crochet down so here i have made one one single crochet with go here one single crochet here one at this side and one So you just have to evenly place the single crochet so that you get a very nice clean edge to it okay and then i will come down and then place one single crochet in all of these stitches so i'll just repeat this till i reach the very beginning so i'm going to place one single crochet all around this come here and then join back okay so here I have finished making one full row of single crochet and I just slip stitch into the very first stitch and cut the yarn off. I've also weaved in all the loose ends. So if you see we have a very nice clean edge to the button closure. You have you don't have any uneven edges. It looks quite nice. Okay. Now one more thing that is left is to close up this end here. So for that I have uh, already threaded in my darning needle here i'm going to stitch this up now you can use any stitch to fin uh, stitch these ends so i'm just going to stitch these two ends together so what i'll do is i will take two loops and then go over it and join these two ends like this okay so i'm going to use this loop this loop and pull my needle through again go through the next two loops pull my needle through like that i'll go till the very end So here I have stitched this one end. Now I'm going to do the repeat. Uh, I'm going to go back so that I'm very sure that this is going to stay in place and it is very tight. So I'll just turn my work and go in the opposite side just to make sure that it is quite nicely secure. Okay, so I'm just going back here. I'll just finish my work and then weave in the loose ends. This is totally optional. I just feel that uh, if you do once more, uh, it will be more secured here okay so i'll just finish this end and i also join a button and then show you how this looks okay so this is how it is going to be so here i have stitched this end completely and this is how this looks i have also attached in a button so i've used a normal um, thread and needle to attach the button here and our pouch is done now if you want you can add cords to it so i do have one tutorial on how to do a very simple cord so if you want you can make a cord and then attach it to the ends and use it as a sling bag also so yeah that was the tutorial on how to do this pouch bag i hope this was helpful and useful for you now if you found this video helpful please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing now if you're making this pouch please do tag me on instagram or facebook i'll leave my social media links in the description box so that's all for this tutorial here see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching